Close your eyes. Think of a cheerleader. What do you imagine? Are they smart? Are they always smiling? Are they popular? Are they loud and peppy? Are they snobs and clicky? Are they even athletes? By a show of hands, how many of you would classify cheerleading as a sport? Well, first, what do you think cheerleading is? You probably think that it's pretty girls with blonde hair and short skirts, high ponytails, and pom-poms saying go-go to a football team, right? Well, I'm a varsity cheerleader, and I'm here to tell you that, there's not, that all those stereotypes are not true, and there's a lot more to it. Cheerleading takes a lot more time and commitment than you would think, from everyday practices that can last anywhere from two to five hours to weekend practices that you have to drive all, that you have to drive all over Syracuse to learn new choreography, new stunts, and tumbling. It is also an extreme workout every day, between lifting people above your head that may be heavier than you, and tumbling, which involves back handsprings, back tucks, round off back handsprings, round off back tucks, and front tucks, just to name a few. Now to address the games. Yes, we do attend football games, and yes, we do have pom-poms, and we do have short skirts, and we do say go-go to a team, but as you can see, there's a lot more to it. Now, right, now really quick before I leave, raise your hand and think of a cheerleader. How many of you would classify cheerleading as a sport now? And as you can see, it's a lot more than just waving pom-poms around. Thank you for listening.